everyone and welcome to Eco Digital Endorsement, a webinar hosted uh, in collaboration um, with Global E-Trade Services, a proud member of the Singapore Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Please note that um, this webinar will be recorded for quality purposes. If at any time anyone has any questions, um, please submit it to the Q&A function at any time during the webinar, during the presentation, and it will be answered um, after the presentation. So begin, let me um, introduce um, one of our board directors in the Singapore Indian Chamber, Mr. Kishore Daryanani. He is the founder and managing director of um, Ganga Jamna Electronics, which is one of the leading import export businesses for branded consumer products. He is um, an accomplished entrepreneur with uh, decades of experience. And he is also the honorary consul of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Mr. Kishore, please. Hi, everyone. A very good afternoon. Welcome to the Eco Digital Entrepreneur a collaborative webinar between the Singapore Indian Chamber of Commerce and Global E-Trade Services, that is GETS, a leading global trade platform company with its innovative use of technology and wide business and government networks. GETS is shaping the future of trade and supply chain. It's my pleasure to open this webinar as it's a useful topic for businesses not only during this challenging period, but also as business look to the future. At this point, I would like to thank our chairman, Dr. T. Chandru, my fellow board directors, our CEO, Mr. Johnson Paul, our esteemed speakers, Mr. Samuel Lee and Ms. Laura Chong of GATS, and our secretary staff. For those who may be unaware, Siki has served the needs of local Indian businesses and the business community at large. Since 1924, Siki strives to give its members a competitive edge in the global market by providing them with diverse insights, connections, and support services. These include trade matching, job matching, business advisory, networking sessions, seminars, and skills training. Siki aims to be the gateway of opportunity for Indian businesses in Singapore, helping both homegrown and international companies realize their full international, full potential. Our SME Center has customized information services for SMEs. Siki has also established an international business division to serve the globalization needs of local companies. With such services, Siki hopes to further its members' benefits. As, of, as the title of today's webinar suggests, this discussion is centered around Certificate of Origins, CEOs, and their digital variants. Any business involved in cross-border trade or the importing and export business in Singapore will be acutely familiar with the need for CEOs. CEOs are necessary to ensure that the movement of goods in and out of Singapore is expedited seamlessly and efficiently. Thus, operating the documentation is a timely, in a timely manner is very imperative. As of now, Siki is the only chamber in Singapore which will certify all documents like CO, commercial invoices, packing lists, and health documents. As a trader myself, I'm very aware of the importance of CEOs and how they can affect businesses. Siki itself, where I have the honor of being a member of the Board of Directors, was the most active trade documentation office in Singapore. Uh, today's discussion will enforce the advantages provided by the electronic CEOs or ECOs. As businesses and societies at large become increasingly digitalized, it's only logical that such vital documents will move from paper to the digital space as well. Moreover, through digitalization, 
the acquisition and certification of such documents can become even more efficient and I'm excited to see how this process evolves. I believe as the business community enters a phase of recovery and looks for new and innovative ways to optimize their workflow processes, digitalization will become increasingly prominent. As businesses find ways to adapt to changing market situations, they must stay relevant by keeping up to date with the latest advance in technology and processes. Hence, I'm grateful for today's discussion. Now, without further delay, I would like to introduce our speaker for today's webinar. With that, I would like to hand over the time to Mr. Samuel Lee. Thank you, Mr. Samuel Lee. The floor is yours. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Samuel. I'm from this company called Gets. So um, before I continue, um, uh, I'd like to have uh, Miss Laura, my uh, my teammate. She'll be flashing the slides today to share more about our company as well as the ECO platform that we have partnered with the Singapore Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry to launch for trade documentation purposes to uh, SICCR members. So next slide, please. So I would like to spend the next uh, two or three minutes to give an introduction to GETS, our company Global E-Trade Services, so that uh, the SICCR member base has a uh, will have a better appreciation of where we are coming from, who we are, and what we represent, and what we actually hope to achieve together in partnership with the Indian Chamber of Commerce Industry uh, as a strategic partner of ours. So GETS, or Global E-Trade Services for short, we are an organization that is wholly owned by Crimson Logic. Our parent company, Crimson Logic, has been around for more than 30 over years, and uh, I think um, there is a lot of um, uh, history along with these 30 years of you know, existence. The, our company, parent company, is very strong in the area of trade domain, uh, digital government portals, legal uh, government portals, as well as trade services portals and cybersecurity, not only in Singapore, but also worldwide. We pride ourselves on, on this uh, strength and we are able to export these uh, solutions, not only outside of Singapore, but all over the world, including places as far as North America and Latin America. So Crimson Logic, our parent company, started GETS four years ago to focus very, very um, uh, strongly on the trade global trade aspects of the um, technology. So we realized that, you know, for global trade to happen, a lot of the manual processes need to be digitalized and innovate very quickly. So Crimson Logic spin-off an entity called GETS, which we incorporated four years ago to focus really, really on how to make trade global trade more accessible, predictable and easier through our various solutions and platforms. Um, just wanted to end off this slide by mentioning that Crimson Logic is uh, currently owned by two major entities, uh, PSA, 70% owned, and the rest of the 30% is owned by Enterprise Singapore. I think these two organizations uh, need not have uh, too much of an introduction. Most of us are familiar with uh, PSA and ESG, the good work that they do there. So this is our structure. This is uh, our background. So at least um, everyone has a better understanding of where GETS is you know, our, our background and our heritage. Lauren, next slide, please. So this is our mission. We want to enable the trade and global supply chain community to be able to conduct their businesses, to conduct their activities in a seamless, smart and secure manner. And we do this via this technology. Next slide, please. Which we launched uh, together with, as part of our product offering called Callista. So think of Callista as our flagship product suite. Um, Callista is uh, our brand name for our platform, which is modular in, in nature. We, it is an open, neutral and trusted um, platform that allows customers to utilize our platform to fulfill their global trade uh, requirements in terms of the digitalization, in terms of their digitalization and innovation journey. Next slide, please. So Callista and our company and our solutions bridge the physical world and the digital world. So if you look at the physical world in the logistics cycle, um, we have you know, shippers importing and exporting. We have um, people providing the freight services and the shipping services. We have ports to uh, all unload and offload your goods and services. This is also include airports as well, right? For all the air cargo. We have custom um, regulators who are helping to 
you know, uh, we, in which we have to file the trade documentation too, right, for the import and export permits and all. And we also have finances who finance our trade. So in this whole cycle, we are able to bridge the physical and the, and the digital world by having our own platform called Callista. Callista, in a nutshell, helps to integrate the physical and digital activities so that this, um, so that global trade can be fulfilled. And we rely heavily on technology mainly blockchain and artificial intelligence technology to build up our software such that it is safe, secure, and simple for people to use. Next slide, please. So this is our uh, value proposition to our customers, our platform and solutions. We aim to be seamless, secure, and smart, uh, riding on the technologies that I mentioned, namely blockchain and AI. Next slide, please. So like uh, most platforms, we are very modular, meaning that our customers do not need to uh, integrate the entire platform or subscribe to the entire platform as a total solution. If they have specific needs, they are able to subscribe to the various modules singularly uh, on a subscription basis to, to consume the services that they require. So customers can, uh, if they need to book services, freight services, they are able to log on to our logistics portal to do that. If they want to just uh, use our platform to file documentations across um, across cross-border, right, for their trade compliance requirements, um, for the ECO, uh, for the certificate of origin requirements, they are able to do that. So we have that capabilities within our compliance module for the submission of documents and filing of trade declarations, as well as import and export permits. We also have the module to um, allow our customers to uh, apply for and consume financial services, such as loans, insurance, as well as um, cross-border payments. We also have um, assisted services whereby we use our, our own technology, but we offer this as an added services, as an added service using our own technology as a outsourced service for our customers. So customers who can hire us to help them to do the filing of their uh, trade declarations to file their customs, clearances, etc. through our assisted uh, service. So uh, uh, we operate on an outsourced model but the underlying technology, we use our own proprietary Calista platform to help our customers to file. Yeah, next slide, please. So this is the, a summary of our various services. Um, as you can see, it's modular and divided into the various pillars of logistics, compliance, finance, and other um, manual services, which is the assisted services in the purple column that you see here. For to the purpose of today's um, webinar, uh, today's discussion, we are focusing on the compliance pillar for certificate of origin. This is one of the most popular service that we have uh, launched to help our customers be able to um, go from manual into the digital world with regards to the filing of certificate of origin. So without further ado, I shall introduce my next colleague. She is uh, very good in, uh, in uh, she's an expert in um, uh, uh, ECOs. Um, she is very familiar with the system and with the implementation that we had in partnership with the Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. So without further ado, I would like uh, Ms. Laura take over and share with you more about the ECO system and uh, what are the new services and, and uh, features that we have introduced to the ECO system. Laura, please. Okay. Thank you, Samuel. Um, yeah. Hi, everyone. So today we'll be talking about the ECO, the enhanced features. Um, so you can certify, um, you can have the COs endorsed by SICCT, uh, as well as invoices, packing lists, and health certs. These, these are the new items that can be digitally endorsed by SICCT. So we did this uh, project because uh, a lot of people are still working from home or they're alternating between working from home and in the office. So they don't really have all the documents on hand uh, all the time, even the ping forms. So through digitalization, we bring you the same um, convenience, uh, reduce application approval time and reduce courier trips and therefore the overall costs also are reduced. Okay, so just to let you know that uh, when we compare the first half of last year versus the second half of last year, there was actually an increase in 40% of uh, ECO submissions. So we believe that the trend will continue because, uh, you know, the pandemic doesn't seem to be um, going, off, going away so soon. And the new norm is uh, 
you know, working from home for a lot of companies or at least alternate between working from home and in office. So the users are typically exporters themselves or maybe agents who declare on behalf of different exporters. So they can go online using uh, Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, anytime, anywhere, and then just submit all these uh, documents online to be certified and endorsed by Siki. So it's a web portal access. So if you Google Search of Origin, the first result is this website, www.certoforigin.com. So we have improved recently our account activation uh, for you. So uh, if you choose options to pay by credit card or $200 deposit, uh, we can provide you within three working days. We do accept gyro as well. Uh, but that one takes about one month. So probably you can do a $200 deposit first to get your account activated quickly. And then you can, uh, meanwhile, still apply for gyro. So when you have the account registered with us, each user will have a username, login, a user ID, and a password. So we also have 24-7 customer support by phone call and email. Uh, the good thing about the ECO is that because it's electronic, we can even go one step further to do system integration. If you, let's say you have a system with all your CO data online, you can do system integration to create automatically for you the CO drafts. Uh, and also we do an end-to-end -end service. So let's say you have your COs, your invoice packing list houses uh, printed out at Siki. You can um, fulfill the whole chain by having a courier delivery uh, in two easy steps. Uh, the courier delivery is just $12 per trip. You can combine all the documents together in one trip. So let me just go through um, the process of the ECO system. Uh, first of all, there'll be a user type called a cloud. The cloud is the one that manually enters into the system the data of the CO invoice packing his health cert. Uh, and then he or she will choose where he wants, he or she wants the documents printed out at chamber which is mainly stamped and signed by chamber and by your signatory for the original um, copy of the seal set or they can print directly at the premise both agent or exporter so then the signatures will be all printed out in black ink uh, let's say uh, he's done already he then goes he submits and then it goes to the user type called signatory so signatory is typically the one that signs off on the CO. So the signatory can enter his digital password and then it then goes to it then goes to the chamber number three. So the chamber will then be able to open up the CO and check all the information and supporting documents before approving. If there's um, any error that is spotted by the signatory, it can actually go back to the cloud. The cloud will receive an email notification and then uh, resubmit to signatory. So for all each um, process, each step of the way, the typical users will be notified through email notifications. So the signatory, when um, he receives it in his uh, account, he will receive an email notification to actually go online and check the CEO again. So the same thing for the chamber, the chamber uh, will be able to actually check whether um, it's correct, right? But if it's not correct, the chamber, Siki can actually send it back to the club. So once chamber approved already, um, then the approved CO invoice back in this house can then be printed out. So if it's printed out at chamber, then the user, your, com your company, just needs to collect the set from Siki either through the ECO courier or through you know, your own courier or yourselves. Uh, otherwise, uh, at step four, you can just go on to the ECO platform and then print it out, print all the documents out. So the ECO print types, um, let me go through some of the print types. For the CO itself, we do have a pink form print out. Uh, this uh, ECO ping form will be different from your manual ping form, uh, but the cost will be the same. Uh, you can print out at Siki uh, and it will be endorsed manually on the original copy for both your signatory and the chamber. The 
copies, the three copies that usually come with it, right? The original set plus one original three copies in one set. The three copies will have the signatures um, printed out in black ink. So if you print at your promise, then all the signatures will be printed out in black ink. Uh, we also offer to that you can print the CO out on the A4 white paper. So usually you need a postscript printer uh, to print out some watermark and microprinting functions that help to uh, authenticate the original copy of the CO. So similarly, if you print at Siki, the signatures are manual on the original copy. If you print at your premise, all the signatures should be digital. So for the invoice tracking list and health cert, we only support printing on A4 white paper. So similarly, if you use a postscript printer, you will have watermark and microprinting on the original copy of the invoice packing list of health cert. Let me just show you the print type for the pink form CO. It will look like this. So once print out, there will be a cert number like CK-21-March, uh, uh, like 0304, for example. Uh, you will also have a QR code. So this one, you can actually download our smartphone app on the web for free and scan it for free. Uh, once you scan, uh, the smartphone app will reflect all the data of the CO and your buyer can actually compare to know that all these data um, that's approved by Siki, the, it reflects according to the exact hard copy document so that you know that there was no forgery involved. So every time um, any of the, the, the the CO, the invoice, packing list, or health is approved. Actually, all the data is saved online on and is protected by blockchain, by uh, Oracle Hyperledger blockchain. So it's immutable. It's uh, very, very extremely hard to actually uh, do any forgery, any tampering of the online data. So similarly, there's a web verification URL at the bottom. There's a number CID equals question mark, a series of alphanumerical numbers. So you can also go online to enter the cert number and the alphanumerical numbers to actually see the online data on the website. So maybe I'll just um, show you. Sorry, I'm trying to exceed the screen. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'll just show you on the actual website. You verify ECO. You can download the smartphone app through here using, you can use your smartphone to access this website. Click secure code scanner. Uh, and then download on the app store or Google Play store. So you can scan all these QR codes to set it up so that when you scan it, all your layout of the data is very nicely aligned for easy reading. So how you do it is you scan the QR code and then the smartphone app will show all the data and then you can compare against the hard copy document. So another way is to use the website URL. You go to verify ECO, go to online verification, click this verify CO by blockchain. You enter the data like CK-2103- whatever, and then the CID number in the website URL, then you click submit, and then you can see the online, the data online here. And then you can compare against the hard copy document. <clears throat> so I'll go back to the presentation slides. So the print type white form for CO will look like this. There will be some microprinting here, which shows Republic of Singapore. Um, it's like dots, and then the spaces will actually spell Republic of Singapore over and over again. And then there'll be this watermark that says Siki. So similarly, it has a QR code and the website URL. So the invoice packing list and health cert will actually look like this. There will be the Siki watermark, the QR code, and the website URL. So I'll just show you a sample set. Oops. So... So it looks like this. This is a commercial invoice. We utilize all the data that you enter into the CO so that um, there's no duplicate entry during the declaring of all your documents. Uh, the item details will be a bit different from the CO though. Okay. 
um, and then there'll be a different cert number. There'll be an add, add additional C for the cert number. So then the health cert will look like this. Item details will change also. And then um, it'll be a H. Uh, for packing list, it'll be like this. Item details different. And then it'll be a P. So this is actually the printout at Siki. So Siki will actually manually stamp and sign here. Then once you collect, uh, signatory we can manually stamp and sign here. So then we also have a print type uh, printing on letter on your company letter here if you choose to print at your premise. So when you choose to print at your premise, um, your signature signature will be here. And then uh, the Siki signature will come out as well. So I'll just show you the sample. So this, so we have a space. The exporter details is taken out so that because you already have your exporter details on the letter here. It looks like this. So uh, if let's say you upload your signature, right? It has like blue, black ink, right? Then if you print using color printer, the color will come out as well. It's mainly for Sikis, I think they have um, in blue ink. Uh, so if you use color printer, you come out in blue ink as well. Okay. So uh, let me just show you the comparison of the process before and after ECO. We use a manual endorsement of the CO and the invoice um, versus uh, the ECO endorsement of the CO and invoice at CT. So the manual way, I'm sure you are all very familiar with. You go down to Siki, you buy a set of 50 A4 ping forms. Uh, then you go back to your office, you use a typewriter or you use an Excel Word document and then print out on the ping form itself. Uh, sometimes if you need alignment issues, you need to reprint again. And then after that, you attach with all your supporting documents. Then after that, you arrange for courier or you travel down to Siki. Uh, hand it over at the counter, wait several hours, maybe walk around, go back office, then you come back or arrange courier again to collect from city. So in this process, you need like three courier trips or more. If let's say you need editing, right? You need to come back, go back office, edit, then go back city again, then come back to city again to pick up. So it's quite troublesome. There's a lot of trips involved and any editing will be a bit messy. So the process using ECO, you can create the CO and invoice, uh, etc. online. Uh, Siki will go online, they will approve. And once, uh, you know, it's approved, then um, the CO invoice, etc. set can be printed out. So if it's printed out at Siki, all you need to do is collect once you receive the notification that's ready for collection at AO. So this is just one career trip. So the good thing about ECO is sometimes you are new, sometimes you have new stuff, you know, then they make a lot of mistakes. You actually, you, you don't need to go back and forth because it's only upon approval that the CO and invoice, et cetera, set can be printed out. So let's just look at the cost analysis. If I say I submit one CO and one invoice for endorsement to CP. So the manual way, um, it will include the CO endorsement fees of $12 for CO and $12 endorsement fee for invoice, plus um, the cost of each CO um, form is for the CO is 16 cents. So one set is four pieces, right? So total cost will be 2464. So uh, Siki allows you to buy a set of 50 pink CO forms per trip. So one courier is hence 12.5 sets. We assume one courier trip to be about $10. So the average courier trip to purchase the pink CO set is about 80 cents. So if I add the to and fro from chamber for the endorsement, plus the 80 cents is 2080. So you can see the endorsement miscellaneous fees and courier fees are over here for the manual. As for ECO, you just pay the endorsement fee for CO and um, the invoice 12 plus 12 gets 214 for the CO, 268 for the 
um, invoice and total will be 2882. However, what you save on is the trips and the courier charges. So roughly it's about 1070, but now increase a bit is about $13. So, um, but I heard that, you know, the manual way, your own courier, it might also have increased as well. So roughly the savings per set for CO and invoice is about $6. So let's say you have 100, you know, 100 um, sets per month uh, or even a year, it adds up to like a bit, uh, like 600 and then, yeah. Uh, so some benefits and ECO system, I'll just like to summarize, like give an overall big picture, right? So um, it increases your bottom line because it increases the efficiency and reduces your career trips. The ESO system streamlines the whole workflow processes needed for the um, <clears throat> uh, endorsement of your CO set and, and all your other documents. Um, the application time is reduced because you have a lot of shortcuts in the ECO system. Traveling time and career costs also are reduced. So it's also neutral and secure because all our data is protected offline by those QR code, website URL, even watermark, um, and also online. Online is by the neutral hyperledger blockchain by Oracle, and each chamber has their own channel. So you will, you know, there's no leakage of data whatsoever. There's also easy adoption because um, after using the ECO system, uh, most users actually prefer going online to submit the CO and documents, etc. set. Uh, is very user friendly. Later, I'll show you in the demo. Uh, there's multiple shortcuts that like you can duplicate from previous sets. Uh, you have a favorites folder that you can keep replicating from. Don't need to enter the data again and again. And also, there is an easy opt in for the courier delivery. Um, also, the ECO system records all your uh, CO and, and uh, documents data without effort, whether it's approved, cancelled, or rejected. And also, there's a global acceptance because for the CO, you can print on the ping form itself. Uh, and uh, so far, although we just launched the digital endorsement for the invoice packing list and health cert, there are, there's uh, companies that took up as well. So they have started using also. So let me go into the demo. Any questions so far? Uh, okay, so let me just go to the demo. Um, I'll use a trial website. I'll log in as an exporter, as a club also. So the club is usually the one that creates everything, right? So yeah. So there'll be announcements here. Okay, typically we have announcements uh, by chambers or by our announcements about the ECO system. Uh, we also have a list of uh, dashboard, so you can go easily, like you have your draft CO applications, you can go directly in. You can you have the pending CO applications, that means pending for approval by either your signatory or by CK. Um, and then you can have the query request, that means chamber return back to you uh, with a remark of what went wrong and then you have the return request that means your signature will return to you uh, with a remark of what went wrong as well so um, let me just go into seal application i'll show you how to create a seal application from scratch new seal application so when you create the co you can also uh, submit the documents i mean the information for invoice as well and packing needs and help sir so for the CO, you choose the type of CO you want. Example, goods for re-export. So these categories are exactly the same as what chambers uh, use. So it's very easy for you to pick up. Chamber, you choose uh, Siki. Um, CO form type, you choose either you want to print on white form, um, you know, because you don't want to buy the pink form anymore. You have the postscript printer. You can choose the white form or you can choose uh, Pink CO form for greater acceptance, like by UAE. So then you choose print party. I'll choose print at chamber. Exporter name. That's your your exporter's name. 
um, and then you can uh, type in pretext. Okay, consignee name, address, country, so on. Departure date. I'll just fill in the data. You can just take a look, but it should be. So there's a lot of shortcuts, so you don't really need to type everything from scratch. You need to rename. You choose your signature that you want to sign up for this particular CO set. And then you choose um, whether you want also to have the commercial invoice, packing list, or health cert digitally endorsed. Okay, so you then print on white form. Um, it's only when you actually print at your office that you can actually choose to print on your letterhead. So then you have the commercial invoice number, right? And then the commercial invoice date. Number of copies is typically three. You can increase as well, but I believe there's certain endorsement fees by Tiki. Then, okay, so once you save the CO, this is actually a draft that is saved already. So you can actually go to your uh, my CO application to actually uh, check. Uh, leave off where you left off from, uh, I mean, continue where you left off from, or you can go back to your ECO dashboard to go to your drafts use. Okay, so done already. I will then um, fill in my item details. So I'll add this a new record. So then um, this commercial invoice will use all the data from the CO that is in the commercial invoice. So these are just the unique data that is not yet entered into a CO. Packing this as well. Packing. Expiry date. then click save item okay uh, otherwise I can actually also download my template so if I download the template and open it I remember to click enable editing. Okay, then you can enter. Okay, then I'll just save. Um, and then I will just um, upload my items. Okay, I'll close it and then I will click update CEO. 
uh, only when updates CEO, then the digital endorsement documents will be appearing in the digital endorsement tabs. Yep. So then I go to additional info. I can put in my CO, whether I want to have more copies, um, the remarks for the CO. Um, I can choose whether it's to be a processing or origin. Click same remark for all documents. That means my invoice packing is at help cert. But I can also manually edit one by one. Okay, click update. And then it will reflect again in the digital endorsement documents tab. Then the supporting documents is the same. I typically for my CO, I can attach like the view of leading and then I choose the file and attach it. Or I can attach like permits. Uh, which is not here. I can also get attached uh, certificate of origin. So if let's say permit is not here, you can just click other documents, then put permit, choose file, upload, then you all all the files will appear here. So I just go to my digital endorsement documents. I'll just take a look at like the commercial invoice. So I'll show you a draft. It's a draft. Okay, um, my invoice number is here. Um, and then there's this remarks. Uh, and then the item details will be pertaining to the usual commercial invoice details. Okay. Uh, same thing for... Same thing for the packing list. Okay, it's the draft packing list number, and then the items reflect the packing list typical details. Same for the health set. Okay. Um, they will apply here. Okay. So um, we also have the tab, the usual tab remarks to AO. You can actually uh, put in any remarks you want to tell Siki and click update. So for every tab after you're done, um, please click update if you updated that tab's information. You then go back to seal header and then click submit seal. Okay, so this has already been submitted to your signatory. So essentially you just need to open it, type in his password, then go to CT. So once it's done, right, let's say I choose to print at my site, right, my premise, right, I just need to go to seal printing to actually print my CO. Let's say it's approved already, it'll come out here. So you show like zero, one, I get, I can print one original at my office, but I get to print any. So once you print, then it'll be one slash one. Same for the copy. Uh, and this is for the CO. So for the digital documents, like invoice, packages, and house, you go to over here, digital documents, I'm digital endorsement documents, print digital document, and then you just um, print. So for example, this packing list, I've yet to print zero slash one, zero slash three. Yeah. So um, just some shortcuts, let's say you don't want to enter from scratch, you got a typical, you know, shipment that's repeating, you just click replicate CO, you click, um, so this is all my drafts and then the approved CO, which comes out with a number. So I think just now I just created this draft, right? So I'll just click this and then I can add it to my favorite. For example, like origin destination or shipper name or um, buy any, whatever, whatever you want to add, then you add to favorite. If you don't want, you just want to replicate just once, click close and then it will replicate the whole set. So this is what I did just now. Yeah, it's all here. Okay. Then if you need edit, then you can just edit accordingly and then click submit. So if I have a manage favorite, if I added to manage favorites, you'll be here. So this will be all probably like my common shipments that I create. So typically people can, once they click the first save CO is a draft then they can just replicate from the draft itself if they don't want to enter. If all the other data keep changes, just replicate from the draft.
So actually, that's that's about it. Oh, um, courier service is over here. So if you want to arrange for courier service, just create your party code once, like my office. Then you put in your address, your company name, your postal code, contact person, contact number, click save. For example, I have a party code office A, right? So I can then go schedule delivery. I can um, click uh, to search for all the approved seals. Click um, Siki, confirm the chamber location, <coughs> search for seals. And then you can select all, or you can just select one by one. The rest were collected already, arranged already. So it was great off. So then you click schedule courier service, uh, and then click normal courier service. So now it's actually twelve dollars. We actually recently just increased the price because uh, due to COVID, a lot of courier companies are increasing because of the limitation in resources. Because you know usually, um, because you know now now the resources prices have increased, right? So so their courier charges also increased to us. Yeah. So it's now twelve dollars per delivery. So if you arrange before 11 a.m., the whole set will be delivered to you on the same day by 6 p.m. After 11 a.m., will be delivered the next working day. Once you click this, you will actually receive an email confirmation. Yeah. So actually, that's all I have um, for the demo. We just would like to let you know that for Siki members who intend to sign up, we do have training promotion. The usual price per attendee of a training is $192, but um, for Siki, that's 50% of the first attendee, plus the second and third attendee of a company attends for free. So these are the upcoming training dates. Um, we will send it to you through the thank you email um, with the ECO training sign up form. Um, so any Q and A so far? Uh, if there's no if there's no questions, you can actually um, scan this QR code with your phone to fill up a very very short survey. Uh, it will take only just two three minutes because this will allow us to know whether what we share with you is applicable to you um, and it will help to you know, shape the future content that we share with you that's more useful. Yeah, I have a question. It says, um, are the COs and endorse invoice accepted by countries such as Egypt and UAE? Yes, they are, they are, yes. Uh, another question. Uh, hi, can I print a CO from my office? I think I have a watermark printer. Yes, you definitely can print from your office. Uh, but, sorry? Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, yes, you can print um, on A4 white paper with watermark. But if let's say you want to print on the pink form, uh, please note that you need to buy the ECO pink form. Uh, and the pink form will not have watermark. So let me show you where you can find the, the how do I? <laughs> okay, hold on now. Okay, sorry. Let me just show you uh how to oops okay so if you go to www dot of origin okay you go to FAQ you go to this prerequisite you can Search whether your printer is supported. It's a compatible printer. This over here. I can share it over in the chat as well. Oh. 
before now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm quite off bad at this. Uh, okay, maybe we can share it through the email. Thank you, Mio, after that. Uh, how's my data submitted online protected? It's actually uh, protected by Oracle uh, Hyperledger blockchain. So it's immutable, meaning it's uh, very, very, very extremely hard to actually uh, you know, hack into their database and uh, change the data. So even when they change, at least, uh, you know, they know that it's tampered with, so they can actually take a look and see what's happening, who is trying to uh, hack in. Um, who are the customers using this system? Um, actually, there are many, many types of customers using this system. Uh, there are MNCs to SMEs using the system, uh, and the background could be like FCMG, FNB, it could be like um, uh, electronics, um, uh, it could be uh, even solutions, chemicals, yeah. Me some, I can upload my CIPL. Yes, you can upload. Uh, you can upload, um, but the actual printout of the endorse CI and PL will be in the format which I showed just now. Okay, Geraldine asked, now case we only need the CO since we are making our own invoice and packing list. Will the system allow us to provide only details for the CO. Yes, you when you create the CO, you don't take the three boxes that says invoice packing list house. Then it'll just be the CO. Okay, Mr. Moss. I send you the set of origin um, approved printer list as already. Maybe you can copy that and uh, paste into your web browser. <clears throat> uh, for Nita, we can upload invoice and packing list instead indicating all details. No. No, you have to actually um, make sure that the data is submitted digitally on the ECO. Geraldine asks, what printer again needs to be used if we print in A4 white paper? Uh, I'll just send it to you as well. The printer, Apple printer list. Yes, Moise, you have another question? When I submit my CO application, I have to enclose copy of invoice, exporter, export permit, and supply invoice. So how do I do that? Uh, yes, you can actually, uh, let me just show you. Um, okay, when you log in, right, and then you, you have created a CO draft, right? Let me just choose any draft CO um, and then I did it, okay? Uh -huh. And then this is what you have done so far. You go to your tab supporting documents, you put in your permit, so other documents, you put there export permit and then you choose your file. Uh, and then you choose whatever file, save. Okay, there. So we accept PDF, we accept JPEG also. So it's there. And then you want to add another one, you just click the plus sign and then you put your invoice, right? There's a com finalized commercial invoice. And then you choose a file. And then uh, you just choose another one, save. Okay, so you've got these two there already. So you can just continue adding. Yeah. How do you upload? 
those. Okay, so um, I have answered your question, I think. If you do not, don't, don't think I have, maybe let me know what are the, uh, how, how you want me to um, show you, yeah. Okay. Uh, Sally, hi, will we keep history in a poly a portal after collected the original? Yes, it will all be in your, uh, for two years, yeah as according to the customs requirements. So if you go to your CO application, you go to your my CO application, you can see all your COs. Drafts and submitted but not yet approved endorsed by Siki will all be here. And then you've got your process CO this, which is all your approved or rejected or cancelled COs. So anyone has any other questions? If not, maybe you can um, help me to answer the survey form, just two, three minutes uh, so that we can know whether what we shared with you was useful and how we can improve. So we'll send out the thank you email to um, have this uh, PDF of all these deck of slides for your reference. Uh, we will also attach the um, sign up form for your training in case you want to know the, the functions in depth um, much better because this demo is just uh, a taste of what ECO can offer. Okay. Um, if there are no further questions, I think we can um, think we can close the session. Mr. Kishore, do you have anything to add on? Uh, thank you, Mr. Samuel Lee, and thank you, Ms. Laura Chong, for the very informative uh, information <laughs> you have given us to every one of us. You know. Although I do not do any of these uh, COs, my staff do that. But I guess I think it's very productive, saves a lot of time, saves money. And if we can get uh, the different uh, export destination, their customs to accept all these uh, necessary documents, it'll make it so much easier you know, to do business. It'll make it a bit more productive and we can do a lot more business. And as the world is digitalizing now, I think this makes sense that we move on to uh, digitalizing probably all the all kinds of documents now. So we thank you for coming for these uh, presentations. And on behalf of Siki, we express our sincere thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you.